Developing tonight, the Trump administration now recommending that you wear a face mask if you go out in public. We brought you that live during a press conference just a few minutes ago. The CDC is now announcing similar measures already put in place by some cities and states, recommending that you wear some type of facial cloth covering outside to prevent spread of the coronavirus. So if you don't have one, where can you get one? Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli found a woman who's now making masks for the community, even though she has suffered quite a financial setback herself. Right, Vincent? Chris, good evening. That right. And the demand for face masks is so high that many stores are selling out. So this woman is picking up her needle and thread. The tap of the pedal spins the spool and the stitching begins. I love choosing colors and things that work together and just creating, making something pretty or new. Amy Kernot has a lot of time on her hands after she was furloughed from her job because of the coronavirus crisis. So I thought, well, I'll take my time and my talents and use them towards something to help others. Now she spends her time spinning thread to make face masks. So we have two pieces of fabric that we sew together and add the elastics on the ends. Many stores are sold out and she says demand is so high, she spends 80% of her day sewing. There's times where I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm still sewing masks. But when I hear from people how much it's helping them and blessing them, it definitely keeps me going to keep making them. The material is cotton. So they can wash them over and over again. And Kernot is actually turning down big orders so she can help more people. I've kind of been telling them I'll do five. And then if you need more after that, I'll add you to the list again, just so I can meet more people's demands. She's already made over 200 masks and plans to continue as long as there is a need. I hope they're appreciated and they are helping other and other people and blessing them. And coming up at six, hear from a man who is literally creating PPE by melting hot plastic and then donating it. You don't want to miss it. Reporting live in Pearland, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.